Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, and we are playing Game of Thrones. You are right. Are we ready? Are we ready? You've it's been four mind. months since He's the last episode. It's private. And I'm, I'm back now, doing videos again. I didn't mean to pry. Apologies about the... Please Sorry, I'm talking over this cutscene, but... Um... Will be here any minute. Of course, lady. Yeah, apologies about being, like so intermittent with up uploads and stuff like that it's just because i'm in college right now i'm going through like some exams you know it's what n almost may i'm her handmaiden so that's what i thought i've seen you with her before apologies but i'm back now and we are doing episode one part three iron from ice outside the royal steps talking to queen cersei cersei Queens? Cersei, interesting. Some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and... and House Forrester. House, House Forrester. Forrester. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. I like this kid. This kid's cool. Things when people don't even know you're there. We could uh we could take him under our wing. Uh, maybe give him uh, a we uh chitty chitty bang right. No. Oh. That was quick. Lady Marjorie. Speak of the Hello. devil, guys. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Her boobs look weird oh, in this. There's something we must discuss. So does her face. She's not modeled very well. She's like a misshapen version of Marjorie. On the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear like, look at her face. That's so weird. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not disturb. I wonder what Mira would look like in like the TV show. You must understand there are limits Speaking of the TV show, say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. Hold on, I'll, uh, we'll talk after this cuts in. handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was a traitor? Herself. Me? Her I'm no traitor. Full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of mm. some sort. For what, I don't know, but... I don't know She's either. waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh I shit, are we talking to Cersei here? We're not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize. Oh yeah, you. this is before I'm the wedding. I know you're not. After the find a way to appease her. Red wedding. Her. Before the Joffrey wedding. Fuck that kid. I'm still like mad about See him even being a character, like Cersei. even now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so I don't think this cutscene's ever gonna end. Um, as I was saying, uh, comment below who, what are your thoughts on the new episodes of Game of Thrones? I heard, um, You'll be fine. episode you 1 to 4 was leaked, you may feel uh, anything, from HBO, you may say another. uh, something, HBO Go or HBO Now or something, <laughs> one of their services. Um, Good luck. I don't want, it was exclusive to Apple. And um, someone leaked them online, and now there's like hundreds of torrents um, online uh, for Game of Thrones one to three. But mo most of them are like really low quality, like typical like streaming quality. So it's not really worth it to be this. honest. Now let's go. Oh, that's a cool effect. You can hear them whispering about us. Oh. 
See, look, ah, Tyrion and Cersei look nice? like Tyrion and Cersei. Like, even just a You're little bit. Tyrion. She looks nothing Your like Marjorie. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Lady Mira. <laughs> you gotta kneel before that bitch. Oh, fuck her. The girl knows her courtesies. I hate her so Impressive. much, man. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking Oi. to you. I want to hear from the girl. Excuse me? Is your family loyal to the king? Absolutely. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Yo, Marjorie's all like, what the fuck? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Oi! They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Fuck, this bitch is like... Woo. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl just named Joffrey as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Absolutely. Ah, that's an answer. <laughs> um. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. <laughs> he is. You stupid bitch. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. Wow, this is way back. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Even in video game form, Tyrion is amazing. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Damn straight. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. Oh, fuck you. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. Yeah, yeah, I pleased her, right? What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. <sighs> He's right. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Otherwise, I think I'd be Can dead. Can truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart. Damn straight, Marjorie on my side, girl. If there's a point to this, I fuck you. Find it quickly. Fuck you, Queen. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Fuck you. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond Yeah, question. sure, why not? And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, your grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern Fuck girl. off, Cersei. Get off my ass. Who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Fuck yes. Your Bitch. Does not have her priority straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of Apologies, sailors. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Sailors, why did I not say that? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl, but not very encouraging either. 
Yo, this bitch. Like, get off my ass, please. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, your grace. Fuck you, Marjorie! Like, what the hell? You told me to please her, and now she's like, Mur. I pleased her. Kind I'll of. walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Grooves Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's I love Tyrion, man. I love him so much. He's You're my babe. You're brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I want to make things not awkward here. My dear sister has been known to hold a grudge. My sister sure talk and I a lot, Tyrion. have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Fuck yeah, Tyrion. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. Oh, Tyrion. I suppose I just, the I, could be persuaded. He's my favorite character. Like, if Tyrion dies, I'm gonna stop watching. Lady like, when Robb Stark died, I was so like, alliance? no, I'm not having it. Spoilers, by the way. When Robb Stark died, I was like, no. Oh, why? I creed so hard. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if the series starts off in a very Sansa, awkward like, her for point. Tonight. I'm talking Three about the game series. Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. But yeah, like nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <laughs> All right. Well. I think that's my time guys uh, I don't want this video going on too long like the other two that <laughs> went up to I think like 40 minutes I think the last one so I'm gonna cut it off here and I will see you in the next episode part four Mira, uh, goodbye guys